Hello, welcome back to iCourses.org. Once again, my name is Claude, I'm your teacher today. Um, and this time, we're going to be talking about the listening section of the exam. Um, this is one of those sections where obviously, as with everything, it takes a lot of, a lot of practice. Now, um, one good thing about the different sections of the exam, you'll find that a lot of the sections have a lot of the same techniques as the other ones like um, the speaking and writing, those are very similar. The techniques on how to handle those are very similar. Listening section is very similar to the reading section. So the same techniques that you use in the reading section, you use in the listening as well. So once you start working on all of those together, each section becomes a little bit easier. Now, as far as the format of the listening section, um, first of all, it's 60 to 90 minutes. Okay, once again, why the big difference in the time? Well, um, that's because every once in a while, you might get the extended version. It's something that they do randomly, like I said with uh, one of the other videos, it's not because they're, they're uh, picking on you, uh, it's just something every once in a while you'll get uh, a few extra questions. So if you look at your timer and you see that you have 90 minutes, then you're going to have the extended version. Like I said, they're not picking on you. The best thing you can do is just take a deep breath, relax, it's not going to be any more difficult, it's just going to be a little bit longer. So each one will have four to six lectures. If it's the regular exam, four lectures. Each lecture has six questions each. Uh, there are two to three conversations, and each conversation has five questions each. So another thing that's really important is to know what kind of questions they have on each one. And like I said, it's very similar to the reading. The different question types. First of all, just questions. That's uh, basically another one of those question types that just tests your ability to understand the information as a whole. What is the main idea of the topic? What do they basically mean by this? Um, so the just question is kind of like a summary or a main idea question. The next question, detailed questions. Okay. Once again, that's the one where you really have to take lots of notes. It's really important to take notes. That's probably the most important thing throughout the exam. Take lots of notes. The detailed questions are going to be asking you specifically about things that were directly mentioned in the, um, in the listening. All right, so the next one are inference questions. That one is almost opposite to the detail. Um, that's testing your ability to understand information that was not directly stated. So they'll give you a couple answers, and usually one of the answers will be correct information, but it's a detail. So um, that won't be the answer there. We'll show you in another video how to tell the difference between the detailed questions and inference questions, um, because they do like to try to trick you, make sure that you're paying attention. So knowing which question type is an inference by looking at the, what's in the question, that will help you out with that. The next one is function or attitude. Those questions usually say something like, what did the professor mean by saying this? And then they will actually replay a certain part of it. So you hear the question again. Um, you won't have to use your memory for that. And you, also that one, you'll see a little headphone icon by that question, so you know that you're going to hear something again. Uh, the next one is understanding organization and the connecting content. That's basically being able to understand how one piece of the context relates to another piece. Um, now, once again, with all these different videos, or these different question types, we're going to have a lot more information on how to identify them and how to best utilize your time with that. Now, like I said, taking notes is really, really important. That's some of those skills that um, I can't stress enough how important it really is. So take lots of notes, all the details. Um, as far as comprehension, this is something that um, a lot of times someone might get real nervous if they missed a word. They didn't quite hear what that word is. The, probably the worst thing that you can do is stop and try to figure out what it was. Just kind of open yourself up and keep listening, keep taking notes. If you missed a word, don't worry about it. If they introduce a word that you don't know, don't worry about that. Whenever they introduce a new topic, they're going to give you the definition of that topic, and that usually happens right at the very beginning. If they introduce a new topic, they will define that topic probably in the next sentence. If they introduce a word or a topic that they don't define, 
I can guarantee you're not going to need that information. Everything that you have in the questions was definitely stated in the reading. So take lots of notes. Don't worry about information that you missed. Just write down as much as you possibly can. Also, another thing that you need to be uh, aware of or um, really work on is uh, concentration. Now, when you're in the exam situation, you're sitting in front of a computer, you have your headphones on, there's a bunch of other people in the world, in the room, it's kind of an awkward situation. One thing you have to remember is <clears throat> everybody else there is probably just as nervous as you are, probably just as uncomfortable as you are. Um, don't worry about the other people because I can guarantee they're not worried about you. Uh, the main thing is just focus on your task at hand. Uh, if it helps, watch the computer. But when you're listening to the questions, they show you pictures. They'll show you like a picture of a person lecturing. They might show you if they're talking about um, some biology issue. They might show a, a scientist in a lab. Don't focus too much on what's in the pictures um, because they're not going to give you any extra information about what you're hearing. But if it helps you to stay focused and not pay attention to all the other people in the room, yeah, look at the pictures. Just remember to keep on taking your notes. Um, and there's another thing that I want to point out. A lot of times when people are really concentrating and they want to hear everything that they're listening to, they'll close their eyes. Not a good idea. Because if your eyes are closed, you're not taking notes. It's much more important to be taking notes. Uh, one of the techniques that you'll find from going through the different courses is that you don't need every bit of information to give your answer. You only need enough to uh, complete the task. So, if you miss some piece of information and you just keep taking notes, you're probably going to have enough of other information that you'll be able to answer your question properly. So those are some of the things that you need to take, uh, take into consideration. First of all, know the format, know the question types, how to recognize those question types, we'll have plenty of videos on that, and uh, take notes and concentrate. Um, but we'll show you ways that uh, when you go into the situation, Hopefully it won't be that stressful, it won't be very nervous um, because you'll have all the tools that you need to do the best that you possibly can. All right, well, thank you for coming back to iCourses. Once again, my name is Claude. Uh, have a wonderful day and we'll see you again soon.